All right. Meanwhile, in an alternate timeline... I just learned what Brisk is. Can I bring up something awesome? Yeah, please. Uh, one of the factoids brought up. Music by Mark Siebert. Same as Girl in the Tower. <laughs> well, <laughs> that... <laughs> That stool in front of his house. It's like fitting. Norm happily plays with an exquisite marionette. Exquisite. That does look exquisite. <laughs> exquisite when you squint and it becomes a bunch of pixels. On an old stump and smokes a large pipe while watching his grandson at play. I think there's like a lot of drug overtones in King's Quest V. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, I'm terrible. Go on. <laughs> I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? Sir, do you have a white van over there? It's <laughs> not that. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's oh very God. Well done. Graham, you know what you're supposed to be doing, right? <laughs> I see where Alexander gets it from, though. Yeah. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. Here's another great eight-tone musical track. To speak to the unknown. What boy seems to be very shy and doesn't answer. Graham pulls out his magic candy. Another puzzle solved. You know, building off of what you said earlier, um, Mark, the soundtrack, maintains a website where he provides free downloads of all the music he made. In front of the barn. Really? <laughs> you, you don't, you mean it didn't sell out in, like, a <laughs> storm? I get, what the? Uh-oh. The mystical bear theme. <laughs> right next to the town <laughs> is a fucking bear. Bear? Bear. Oh. Handed. Combat. Oh my god. Here Holy we go. shit. Yes. Let's see how we do this. You should be very careful around a big old bear. <laughs> <The> Thank <laughs> you, Wilford. Intent on the honey to listen to Graham. Listen to him? You can talk to the animals and stuff. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> the bear fucking, fucking clocked him! That's awesome. Graham should know better than to feed the bear. <laughs> the bear looks at the hat and is like, I don't want this, this is ugly. Why couldn't that have happened to Alexander? Over and over again. Alright, here we go. Yeah, throw a fish at him. <laughs> then the bear walks over and punches <laughs> punch the right. <laughs> Oh boy. Thank you ever so much for saving our hearts. I have a bad feeling there's some horrible deviant art of this. How would you like to thank me? I offer you a luscious honeycomb from our hearts. Please feel free to retrieve one. It sounds like it's supposed to be a southern bell in a glass of water. It may come in handy. We'd like to thank Honeycomb for sponsoring King's Quest V. <laughs> <laughs> Love song by Mark Saber. Mm, me want honeycomb. The large stick from the ground. We did that for a stick. Graham reaches a hand into the beehive and retrieves a very sticky chunk of honeycomb. You couldn't have gotten fucking honey in a stick elsewhere, or bought honey from a store. You're a king. These aren't very talkative bees. I'll have to do battle with a bear to get that stick. You no, know, Al, for being such a wuss, you wouldn't mind getting close to those bees. But... Oh man, we gotta defeat this wolf so we can get a rock. <laughs> That's what this is about? No, I don't know. dog digs playfully at the huge anthill while the poor ants are King Graham, friend to all insects. Did the ants build a sandcastle? Uh, apparently they did. Okay. Just yeah. checking. Here's another annoying track. <laughs> then the bear comes and punches Al. <laughs> dog leg. Oh, oh, it's dog. dog, whatever. It's a dog eat Graham world. Oh my god, the, the ants are killing him, just like in Indiana Jones. What? I hope that dog looks mean. Please god, let the dog just punch him. The dog doesn't seem to be a friendly sort at all. Unlike me. <laughs> and then the dog mauls him. <laughs> Bites his balls off. I'm King Ed, and you're the good. What? May I ask who you are? So he can talk oh, to I very tiny you. animals. I'm King yes. Graham of Daventry, and this is my friend. Cedric. Well, they're the only ones who pay him any, any mind, so we can just crush them otherwise. To the ocean right. on the other side. That is a very perilous undertaking. I wish you would reconsider. But 
Wait, we're doing all this because we don't have a ship? What kind of shitty King are we? Thank you very much, King Antony. Cedric and I appreciate your kind offer. We look forward to meeting you again. Please don't speak on my behalf, Graham! Part of the million dollars went towards these clever writers. <laughs> there we go. And PC gaming must have been dead in the early 90s if this was the best-selling game. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I can buy this or Excel. <laughs> uh... Excel did have a better soundtrack. Graham watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack and begins to swarm through it. Wow. Let's see what our prize is for saving their whole fucking colony. How does Graham express surprise? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, no, we have to load this great track from Mark Siebert. What? Oh, God, All help right. me. Bear comes and tears them apart. <laughs> comes and punches them. <laughs> I can only think of two lines for lyrics, and then we're just gonna go to whistling, okay? And then he waves the conductor's baton. Good call, Mark. At his Casio keyboard. I'm glad All right. to see there was a way that we could be of help to you. What Look did here. that even accomplish? We found a golden needle in the haystack. <laughs> really? Like Good. That is easy. worth nothing. <laughs> Why, thank you, King Anthony. <laughs> he steps on him. <laughs> I am a king befitting of a platinum needle, at least. <laughs> I hope we got, like, a million points for that. And then the bee stings Cedric to death. Please. I can't believe how ripped he is. Look, even there. Like, his sprite is ridiculous. You're talking about Cedric? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, desert? Uh, How? <laughs> oh, there's nothing but a hot, dry desert for the West. Most people avoid it because there are bandits out there. Who if you insist on going... Bye, Cedric. <laughs> Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and... Miles West. Well, this looks fun. <laughs> hmm, hot blistering desert just over here, two screens away. <laughs> and now I'm dead. This looks like a very fun part of the game. Graham goes through great lengths to avoid that town with the horrible soundtrack. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the precursor to Uncharted 3. <sighs> Life giving water. Nectar of the gods. Graham can now feel strength and renewal flowing through him. How are you supposed to know that was there? Could you go anywhere else? By, yeah, he went oh, like, left, left, down. Oh. Uh, left. Well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was a mirage, and Graham was just eating sand, no, accelerating his death. Other tinier Graham's trying to go to the right. An old shoe lies forgotten near the... Thank God. Well, we couldn't have gotten a shoe anywhere else. Just have to pick this up with my golden needle. <laughs> By the way, this is a way to render the game unwinnable, apparently. If you throw the shoe to the dog, it works, but you need it for something else. Because this game is full of, like, bullshit ways, like, for you to render it unwinnable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Sierra. Adventure game enthusiasts have a term for this called Walking Dead, which is exactly how I feel right now. Alright, we'll just wander over the dunes. Quick power walk for the old calves. <laughs> My kingly balls sure are sweaty right now. Mm -hmm. Desert, alright. Alright, the sequel to Desert. Oops. Nah, I don't even need it. I'll just eat a power bar and keep going. Too late. Great. <laughs> <and Jimmy's laughs> extreme thirst in the hot desert sun. <laughs> well, Jimmy, that's the end of story time with... Whoa. Time for you to go to bed. I am mildly embarrassed at my dehydration. Grandpa, that story was terrible, and stop doing the owl voice! <laughs> Actually, my impression of a little kid sounds like the actor's impression of Cedric. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> <laughs> then Jimmy and Graham died of thirst in the desert. What did we learn today? And then the crows came down and slowly tore apart his flesh. <laughs> In exact detail, his entrails were carried by King Antony back into the town of terrible music, which I, w I will now sing for you. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> As the crows chewed him up, a bear came and punched his head clean off. <laughs> Grandpa, bears don't punch, and then he punches the kid. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out he was a bear the whole time. <laughs> And then to steal some money off the tail of So long, suckers! And that's King's Quest 7. 5. 5. So. <laughs> anyway. Well, on to part 3. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's do it.